guys, and welcome to my WWE Royal Rumble predictions. Now, I think I'm going to be doing this for every pay-per-view starting now, because hopefully we get a WWE Network soon enough, and then I can watch the pay-per-views and such. But I watch the pay-per-views anyway, so I'll start doing prediction videos, and I don't know about reviews, but I will definitely do predictions. So, starting off... Hopefully I don't forget any, like, matches or anything. But, one, we're going to go right now into match number one, which is the pre-show, which is the Ro the New Age Outlaws. <laughs> I would call them the Road Dogs. The New Age Outlaws versus the Rhodes Brothers. Now, there's been a lot of talk of this kind of, breakup between the Rhodes Brothers and a match at WrestleMania 30. But personally, I love the Rhodes Brothers. Don't want their tag team reign to end just yet, but it probably will. I think they'll use the New Age Outlaws as transitional champions so that they have a heel faction lose to the Usos, because the Usos the, Us the Usos the Usos are on fire right now. Getting big, two double big wins over the Wyatt family on the last Raw and the Raw before that. Brian turned uh, turn face again, but I think that's what's gonna happen, and then you'll see some friction in the Royal Rumble again, just like the Shield. I think this is the last time we're actually gonna see the Shield as a functioning faction, and I think this is it for them too. That was just a prediction I wanted to make. So for the pre-show, I think the Rhodes brothers are gonna lose in some very controversial way, just so they get all pissed off, and then they're gonna start. They're not gonna like each other, and maybe. Gold Dust will Gold Dust will push Cody or something. I don't know. I think I think they're gonna break up, and if they don't, then I'm cool with that too. <laughs> so under our next match, which is Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt. So uh, this is easy. Daniel Bryan's gonna beat the hell out of him. Simple as that. Bray Wyatt's not gonna win this match. If he does, I'd be really surprised. But you know that's Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan's sweet. Hopefully he is wrestling in the Rumble. We don't know yet. But uh, I, hope, I hope to see him in there. Probably number 27 since he's got that bad old concussion. But next match will be Big Show versus Brock Lesnar. So Brock Lesnar's going to win because they want to book him like he's a goddamn super beast. So, well, I'm hoping if Big Show, like if Big Show wins, I'm going to cry. <laughs> But uh, I just got pissed off because Big Show really doesn't need. To. Big Show really shouldn't win this match because you know he's been treating Brock like a baby. So Brock's gonna beat the hell out of Big Show. It'd be cool if uh, he actually injured Big Show for WrestleMania 30 season, like storyline-wise. But they've had some great matches before, so I'm expecting a great one from these two. And uh, I've heard from some rumor mills that they're going for a super OMG moment with those two. So, that'd be sweet. But then, our next our next match. Uh, yeah, then it's the Royal Rumble. And, well, seeing CM Punk's coming in first, I don't think Punk's going to win. I think they're going to make Punk very look very strong, though. <laughs> like, how I think it's going to be. Batista seems way too predictable. But I think Batista will win this one. But I think it's going to be Batista and Punk for the very end. And the only reason Batista wins is because Punk came in as number one and is so damn tired. Because the original plan, well, we originally heard the original plan was CM Punk to win the Royal Rumble, which I would love because I want Punk to win the Rumble. But, you know, he probably won't win it this year, but if he does, that'd be sweet. Because Batista can, let's be honest, Batista can do whatever he wants, really. I think a Daniel Bryan and Batista match would be pretty cool. Just something like that. But... Uh, what's next after that? So Batista's probably going to win the Royal Rumble. That's my official prediction. Oh, yes. Randy Orton versus John Cena. Uh, Randy Orton. That's just how I feel. Because even though Cena was supposed to win at TLC, you could tell. I think that they're just going to give up with Randy Orton. I mean, uh, John Cena. Not going to make him champion because with all the rumor mills, here's one of the big kind of things. You always hear... Bray Wyatt versus C uh, John Cena. No WWE title involved in that. You hear Hulk Hogan 
Daniel Bryan and John Cena on a tag team versus the Wyatts. But you never hear anything about John Cena, even John Cena versus Undertaker, that's another one. We never hear anything about Cena and the WWE Championship. So, you know, I just, I don't see him winning it. <laughs> so, those are my official predictions. I'm really hoping I'm right on a few of these, but you can call me out. Write your official predictions in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.